this last pick. They now pick up the hero. And they go for a Ricky. Ooh, Ooh finally. Spicy. Didn't Everybody. see that one coming. Yeah. Uh, it's good that they're able to clear that one out to at least try to apply some pressure onto this CK. Yeah, Mid lane, at, I was gonna say, Quinn is giving it to Nisha. He right certainly now. is getting a fair few denies in, of course, already in this Ricky versus the punt matchup. Now in with the trick He's of the trade. Trying. He's gonna find the first blood. Oh, 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 well, I said, I don't know if Liquid expected this Ricky to come out, and I don't know if Nisha was prepared to play this matchup or, or at least get a little bit aggressive themselves. They're in on a 33. He's gonna try and hide in the trees. Another nuke. Gonna be the block off there from Boxy. He's able to present himself, make sure the Celery and Dresco cannot continue to chase. Maybe if they can turn and try and take down Celery. Uh, in, in, in return, another solo subject comes in, it. it's enough burst! Liquid! Yeah, done, Boxy, giving it to Duraccio too. Able to, that Nisha can make that first move with that extra big bonus damage. And Mickey's actually making a potential move, he's cancelling a few times. Yeah, bottom lane. He's gun on top, Mickey. They're going in with a dive on towards Duraccio, the solo subject burst come in, they take him out! So he's gonna get a trade. Same time, indeed, on that top lane, losing Mikke. So whilst the aggression came out from Liquid first down bottom, overall, they're the ones to lose two heroes, top and bottom lanes. Mikke, and it does feel like it does have a lot of counters in particular. We saw it struggle a couple of times on this main stage as well. So we'll see how Mikke can endure. It's just these heroes getting on top of him early. Now Boxy trying to bring Nisha over to help them close the gap onto what's Quinn. They come in with a TP from Mikke. This is the move you expect to see here at the sixth minute. Trying to punish the Ricky. Quinn will jump over to the creep wave. The Soul Central will be dodged with that movement, but the Snowball connects. They bring Quinn down. It takes a lot. It takes what, two centuries, a dust, and a commitment from the Nature's Prophet. That is a lot to get this Ricky down, but a move that maybe was necessary to slow him down. On top lane, well, Nisha coming in with a rotation, see if they can pick something more out of this early action, Liquid. Dodge Face down orb. on towards Tofu, but to deal with the orb missing, Tofu's going to offer the TP out. There's nothing to stop it. So Liquid, they won't find anything more. In Gladiators. The nice thing, though, is that 33's actually just been able to sit bottom. He's top net worth on this visit. We've seen a couple of times this hero can't get ganked and pushed out of lane a little. Celery, nice grab there, takes over the Hellbear Smasher, gets a clapping on towards Insania. Tofu's in on top of him. Gaming Gladiators completely taking over Liquid's jungle. This top half of the map, not a safe place for Liquid to be over in the river. They've got the Dream Call, Mickey comes up with the TP. Quinn did get the smoke screen down in time, and it's definitely helping him out, but is it enough to allow him to jump away? Tricks of the trade there, no blink strike out of the side. No he's able to get out, and he's able to get a regen rune as well. Liquid, they're desperately trying to find Quinn in the mid. Last time they succeeded, this time they don't get him fogged. Oh, and he gets a regen too. They committed four heroes plus another dust just trying to bring him down. They're really just trying to get rid of this rat. But Quinn, yeah, surviving, just staying under that smoke screen. I mean, they're so bringing powerful. in the action. Dredge is collapsing here. in on mid. Ace and, is ready and, to come over with the ultimate. They want to try and take this fight. Gaming Gladiators, they jump forward. Dredge is going to get caught, but the immediate is done. But now he's ready to turn. Has the control in on towards the Tusk. Boxy to fall. Gaming Gladiators, they're feeling strong with the group up. They lost the birds, the familiars. Both just get taken out immediately from the group up. And they're ready to split back up straight away. Go back to farming. Ace will stick around in the mid. Putting this pressure on, I mean, they're just showing themselves, you know, Liquid, they can they can try and make these moves, but now, Gaming Gladiators, they will be ready Wait, to respond, and under the tower, Quinn's in with the tricks of the trade, and Saini has already used the disruption, he's trying to juke around the tree line, but Quinn will find him. Another one for the Ricky Celery, in return, does get caught out. Nisha Box, CM33, pick him off to the side. They're trying to stay around here, we're not going to get the tower, I know they're going to match us, so he goes back to farm. Tofu is a little bit deep here. Another soul assumption. Oh, uphill miss, uphill oh. miss. Okay, oh, well that's going to cause some issues. Soul Assumption will solve the issues though, gets the hit in. Has to be at ready. And with the scan hitting, looks like Liquid should not get caught off guard by this. Quinn's looking back towards the mid. Sure. I do have the Fiend's case, you say, if you want to make this uh, play over towards him. Silence just set things back. up. Good angle they with the do. flame break, keeps him in range of the stun as well for Duraccio. Tofu. Knowing perfectly how to hit these angles and get the most out of Quinn's smoke screens. It's not your most traditional kind of way to lock down a puck. With this Ricky getting this sort of a good start, do you imagine we'll see adaptation from the supports item builds on uh, Liquid to try and respond to this? Probably. I mean, you're going to need to just all Q4 steps in particular. You know, you're playing versus Ricky. The shard's going to be devastating at some Behind point. Behind the tower, Duraccio. To Duraccio. It's pretty deep here, but he's got backup from Ace. Comes they in with the Fiend's Gate. Gaming Gladiators, they've got the numbers, but so has Liquid as well. 33, looking to push back. He's here with the solid assumptions. Duraccio turns, gets the stun, but the disruption save will be there. Vornisha buying him some time. The smoke screen persists. He'll get the orb off, jump out of the side, holds them back with the Dream Core, but the flame break hits. The final right click come through. Tofu able to take Nisha down. Gaming Gladiators considering pushing in for more. Jump forward the tricks of the trade, the snowball, by some safety for Boxy as he rolls over towards Tofu. Tofu, he has the last open ready, the lockdown's there, they bring in Boxy, Boxy to fall. Gaming Gladiators, they get two. They're even considering pushing it for more, up to the tier two. Finally, they'll hold back. Liquid, 
Owen. They'll be pushed right back away from this all. And he, right. I mean, he's he just now getting more auras. The Crimson's yeah. now online. It, it just feels whatever happens now at this stage, these next few minutes of play, it's I don't crucial. know if Liquid can look to fight because the damage, it's just not going to be there. No. And Mick Gang, he is spotted. They're going to look to react up here, but the damage is quick. Can Boxy bail him out? Uh, he's going to try, but uh, there's only so much he can do. The drinking buddy play will come in. It's not going to save him, though. Mick A still to fall. Ace comes over with the Fiend's Gate. They're ready to punish Boxy as well as Boxy. Nobody here to help him out. As gaming gladiators, they're making it look pretty easy now. Picking up kills, picking up objectives. They're playing too fast, and Liquid, it, it, they're not prepared for it, Owen. They're so far, they haven't been able to save the puck anyway. Liquid. So if they can find some of these pickups that they desperately need. Tofu, he'll get caught out. It's one quick one here for Liquid. And Maybe see if they can get something else with the Dream Coil set up. Quinn's been found. The follow of silence, they've got him completely locked down. Liquid, Beautiful they stuff. find the chance here to strike at Gaming Gladiators one by one. And they get one of the big ones. Quinn, he's out. Back. Bottom lane, they've Maybe. got their eyes on Nisha. They're going to go for him right away. Quinn. He's ready to lead in. Boxy is standing by his side, but how much can the Tusk do to save the pucks? No screen is there. Fiends Gate comes in. Drinking buddies will drag him out to the side. The pit catches onto the three of them. Dracho gets the pull back onto Insania. The shards will actually get some space there for Insania, but Quinn's able to Quinn jump over. Deep. The stun comes out though. It seems able to take the ult off on towards Quinn. Incredible save there by Boxy with the shards, keeping Insania alive, alive, allowing him to play his hand, and that now enables Boy. Liquid to potentially turn the fight around. They'll look towards Ace. Boxy charges forward. Nisha, he's been caught again. This time he'll fall. Boxy caught by the lasso. Dracho beats again to him. Boxy turns. They've Mickey taken down a damage. second. Double kill for Mickey. Celery got in this round. Triple kill for Mickey. Liquid. What a way to turn around the fight that Gaming Gladiators has absolutely put everything into. And it was the little things as I said, Boxy. Quinn is scouting them to dust. Now straight into the high ground. A little awkward here now. Gaming Gladius is looking back at them. He's got a lasso in two seconds here. Tofu's so tempted to go see if he can get any sort of catch. Off to the side of the Fiends Gate. It's coming in. Duraccio. He's just completely caught alone there. It looks like some sort of attempt there for Gaming Gladius to try and pincer in Liquid, but they just. Liquid just ends. Alright, he's, he's pretty tanky. I mean, but they might find the setup here if Boxy can get the angle. See how much they want to try and chase for this Liquid. Ace into the trees. Shots will find him. I mean, slowly but surely, Liquid, they're surrounding him. him. Gaming down. Gladiators are coming in from the side. Uh, maybe it's a bit of a bait. Ace, is it a successful bait or is it a mistake? He's going to try and push it forward, but Liquid, they can turn. Bring in the damage coil. to bring down Ace. The coil is there. Liquid, they're tearing them apart here. Quinn trying to run just back in off to the side. The orb comes out for Nisha, takes him out. Sprout catches Celery. Liquid. They're just winning all these fights now. They They've really got are. these items. They've got the entire group up, and now this tower is in trouble. They've got a cliff. Perfectly sneaky. Did the damage output stepping up here? That's a full parasma now on Nisha. Just steps up the aggression. Feels like he doesn't need to have that defense anymore. He is very tanky with the pupils gift. It is a 2500 HP bug. I mean, Liquid's ready to go. So if he can get the catch here, Quinn turns with smoke screen. Force four for Nisha. Never jump forward. Get the dream call up on the two of them. A beautiful setup there comes in from Nisha. The Fiends game will come in and instead turn things around, but Quinn's already gone. Celery's going to get left behind. Gaming Gladiators cannot fight Liquid right now. And now beyond the tier two, they may just find Ace on top of it all. They get the silence, the shard trap from Boxy. They'll find a third Liquid. They can go high ground again. There's still not that glyph available. They can start threatening this. I mean, they can start threatening, threatening Rax and maybe even threatening the close up of this game to potentially close this out here. Uh, they've really sort of turned the game on its head if you consider what we've seen in the first 10 minutes of this one. Liquid hitting back harder than ever here. Duraccio's going to try and start some action, but the BKB comes out for 33. The Illusions will remain on 33, and they have the lasso as well. Dragging in the Visage. 33, is there going to be any sort of safe for him? There is not. 33 will fall. Can they chase for more? They need more gaming gladiators. Oh, nice shards trapping Duraccio. Let's see what they can find by Ace. He's caught in the Sprout, trying to get out of it. The bottom push is down upon him. Boxy comes in with a punch up. The Dream Call catching them all. Ace, he's out. Has the buyback available if he wants to consider it. Gaming gladiators trying to find Boxy in return. Jump forward from Quinn, but he's caught by the silence. He's trying to get away from Mickey, but the right clicks from Mickey and Nisha are too much. Quinn goes down. They tried to chase to get some kills, but Duraccio was stuck in shards for the entire duration for it. While Ace was going down, he couldn't help his buddy. Liquid, continue to play strong, oh, Nisha. The silence, but Nisha is trusting in Insania. Insania, he left the save or the offensive disruption when needed. Gives Nisha the chance to continue to play and live. He all comes in, in fact, Nisha, Nisha he jumps in. 
He's got no fear Mickey. right now. Mickey steps forward, gets the drag back here. Drag chase, he turns to it. Mickey's Mickey. gonna catch on to Mickey. Mickey's getting torn apart by the illusion. Mickey's dead. Derecho will fall in return. The buyback's gonna come out from Quinn. Gaming Gladiators and Quinn, he knows he's got Mickey, to look for whatever back. chance he can to punish back on the liquid. Tries to make the jump over the horses, but Mickey also in with the buyback. The smoke screens down. Quinn, he fought back for this. He's out for 75 seconds. They're looking to end it, Owen. The buyback from Mickey and Quinn's gone. This is likely Megas. Can Ace hold on to it? They've got a buyback from Duraccio. Liquid, will they respect that I mean, buy? that's the question. You know, how confident do Liquid play? Yes, they know there's no Quinn for a minute. It's 5v4. How much can they take? Liquid. Tofu waiting in the wings, looking for a lasso target. Still being very careful indeed, respecting the catch from Bat. This is tough because the double saves. Mickey, he's at the ready. His BKB is up in four seconds. It's the mid has gone. Liquid. The final set. They're ready to keep it going. 30 seconds. They know there's no Quinn. It dies so fast. They gotta look to go on the side of game, and they can't just watch these racks go. The Megas. Tofu is gonna try with the grab, and the disruption comes in immediately. They try desperately. Game of Gladiators is here to fight for this fight. The hand of gold comes down, but it won't save Ace. Ace, he's out. He has buyback available. Durango tries to sneak back to the safety of the fountain. He'll get back. But the racks are gone. They Liquid have claimed the Mega Creeps. 29 minutes, Megas. Good luck coming back from that one versus this type of lineup. And I don't think Liquid's going to look to get out of the base. They still got 30 seconds to keep the push going. They know that they can get so much done they here. They call it. Oh, they do. GG is called Liquid. Yeah, because he was staying 5K ahead and finally comes out to mid. But the puck can stay sustained a little bit easier, I would say, at this point, just because of that constant healing that's coming out. So Nisha actually does get pushed away from the lane. They're going to go for Duraccio. Straight away, they see that he's alone. The TP comes in from Mickey. Duraccio is gone. It's first blood for 33. Heads up stuff, and immediately can just TP back to bottom. Love for heroes. So I guess this is the way they want to pressure, because they don't have the best dual pressure. They want to do this, but Boxy's reading the movement. Liquid seem to be relatively prepared for this potential play, or maybe they're just going to look to go aggressive first themselves. They do. They go straight over towards the Tofu. Centaur creep. Uh, you're gonna get the follow ups done as well from Ace. This could give Gaming Gladiators the chance to fight back. Celery and Ace, do they have enough damage to threaten Mickey? A bit of body blocking here from Tofu with the Nagasar and Illusion, but Mickey's still able to get around, get back. They decide against trying to make Mickey's that sort of wraparound TP. play. The Wisdom Rune, it's gonna get stolen. He's able to just take down away Tofu. He's already limited he's got, he's on got the no experience. way out, though. He's got no way out. Does he see him? He's sneaking. Is he actually think, he's get actually out of been here? able to juke perfectly There's outside of vision. I don't think Tofu's seen him at all. Celery, they see this with the scan. Celery's trying to catch him up, and Mickey's just waltzing past them. Uh, they, they, they see him, of course, now with okay. the micro. I mean, surely he doesn't get a, away with this surely Mickey. Surely not. Ace is looking to go get him now. Yeah, they're, they're going to put an end to him here, Ace. Uh, either. I don't know if he can uh, do some crazy sort of sprout play. He's, he tries, but he the coiling blades there, Ace will be able to slowly but surely catch him out and cut him down. So he gets. And in terms of some of the individual farm we're seeing at 33, he's getting quite a scary bit of space up top. Sure is. They're going for the surround play bottom. Duraccio's got involved. Mickey. Mickey is trying to TP out top, but Duraccio's found him. In on top of with the Dragon Tail. Gaming Gladiators, have they got any further cancel for the TP of Mickey? They don't. So they'll have to turn and sell for Boxy. Liquid, they get Mickey out. Heavy commitment, though. Do have the tools to make plays. Definitely on a hero's outside of the bristle. So we'll see where Gaming Gladiators look to make their moves. And just in general, look to see if they try and check out this area and get some information regarding the stacks of Team Liquid. Celery, and caught in. Big Wrath of Nature. And uh, with the burst coming in as well from the Snowball, Stampede is not going to get Celery out in time. Same time up top, Duracho is going to try for the set him on a really 33. Tanky. He really is, and backup is in for it. And Senior holds back Duracho. With these two heroes, there's just not a chance. Even with Quinn being present, he. Mickey might not see this coming. That ward was literally right outside the sentry range. Now this is a solid play here from Gaming Gladiators, but it will get shown now. So TP do start to come through. Maybe these two can't get the burst off in time to kill him off. Mickey's going to come in with the snow. They got the Quinn from Boxy, and indeed they just turn and kill Quinn off. Boxy was that was the, that was the fastest TP I've ever seen. Like, I, it, it was literally it was. before they even showed on the smoke. It felt like. 25 minutes in, and the Bristol's at the high ground of Gaming Gladiators. Gaming Gladiators is going to have to come in with some sort of answer. Yes, absolutely. I mean, that's definitely the ideal play the Liquid wants to do is oh, pressure the map early. Strong lead in from Quinn. Do they have the damage for Ace and the Sampion and the Who Stomp? They certainly will. Mickey 
There's no saving him this side. Gaming Gladiators think it's the kill, but can they get out? Nisha is in with the combo. Avalanche to follow up onto both Nisha, uh, onto Quinn and Celery. Snowball over towards Quinn. They've got the start and the punch up. They're taking Quinn out. Celery, he's been caught in by the shards. 33 and Insane are ready to chase down A. Celery's got a TP out as Liquid. They'll look for the bigger target instead, getting Ace as well. They'll get the trades. No matter what lineup he's against, it feels like if he gets his tusk is a problem. It's a nice play there with Celery with the Wild Wing Ripper trying to tear himself away from Nisha. Nisha for now is going to continue to chase. They've got the TP coming in. Indeed, Nisha. Slowly playing around with Celery. They've got the numbers here. Insania, Boxy, Mikke, the whole team pretty much turning up to get another kill on the board here, Liquid. And the crazy thing in the meantime, look where 33 is. He's just occupying the enemy triangle. Kind of early Blink Dagger with this aggression they can play with the Tusk. Looking for the setup around the mid, Liquid. Big Gonna get the jump in Nisha. He's able to get the setup straight away. They want to try and burst through the Enchantress. The heals are up for Celery. It's too enough. much damage though, Liquid. They can get pretty much any kill that they jump for right now. Mickey's ready Quinn. to lead in for more. Looks towards Quinn, but the orb is back up. He's slowed down. They've they got his stampede. They absolutely have to, but Nisha, he's able to still get him with the toss. The stampede doesn't matter. Nisha still able to close the gap and take Quinn out. Liquid's playing too fast for this gaming strategy at the moment. Yes, Duraccio is farming, but everybody else is starting to fall further and further behind. It's very poor right now, bottom of the course. They're really looking to, to be all on Duraccio. Yeah, it, it definitely is right now. And look at the positioning, like Salary. He's trying to find desperate places to farm, but there's a ward, and they will find him again. You just can't hide on the map right now from Liquid. They will find you. A Shiva's on a Centaur. They, I mean, they need to try to fight and push this back. They the, cannot lose another set. These are the two big item timings. Ace with the Shiva's and now Duraccio with the Silver Edge. They're going to try and start off the Edge very quickly. They'll be able to take the Aegis out of 33's hands. That's the one. Foxy and Mikhail will turn attention over towards Ace. He's able to put the Blame out. So for using the song, Gaming Gladiators, they're going to consider if they want to do something aggressive or if they want to hold back. They'll step onto the side of the fight for now. Nisha. Oh, he's going to get caught by the enemy. Someone will get dragged to the side here by the Drinky Buddy. Dream Core down on the three of them. Duraccio and Celery trying to bring the damage. damage. They're doing a lot here. Bring Big the load Safety Shroud. They're going to be able to take that boxy! 33 is going to get pumped up by the heel of the load stabling from Ensania passing it over. 33 will be able to back away, but they Gaming Gladiators, board. they'll continue the chase. Orb comes in from Quinn. They're in onto Ensania. 33 and Mickey, they're looking to bail out of the fight. Dretcher, can he get a solve in time? He can't. The two cores will get out, but Gaming Gladiators, a successful defense. It's probably what Liquid is looking for, like you were saying. The BKB still will be stalled out from Nisha, but Nisha did find himself a nemesis curse. Let's so look at some of these the Silver Edge touching onto 33. He can. The Dragon Tail's done to follow things up. Ace Drinking for some of the saves there. Snowball's in, and Boxy's ready to help turn things around. TP comes in from AK. They're going to look straight over towards Tofu, try and get the squish kills first. And with the BKB pop by Mickey, he can continue to punch into Tofu. And Tofu's surviving for this damage. Mickey's not got quite enough to kill Tofu off of Tofu. He's able to get away. Liquid, the turn of Lord's Ace instead, but the snap beats out. The Sprout there to try and stop him. He cuts his way out, but Boxy's got the punch up. Ace, he'll the get one more who stop off, but he'll fall. Now they'll Durancio. turn over towards Duraccio. Liquid trying to surround him. Quinn looks to jump the back line for the toss up there. They have the burst to bring Duraccio down. The Dream Call comes out, but it's a little too late. Gaming Gladiators, they're running out of damage. They have to run. They have to escape. And Liquid, they're going to try and do their best not to let them. Nisha back in with another toss combo onto Celery. Liquid, take the team fight. Gaming thought they could read Go. They had the break potential. We saw Duracho. He turns and gets that second hit, but uh, they absolutely want to contest this. Liquid. They're sneaking in. They've got the vision. And they see the, the opening. The Avalanche toss combo straight away, bringing them down to about 10% HP almost on the puck. Quinn, he's got to get out. It he's the dead. Off, Boxy's in with a punch up. Quinn's out of the fight. Celery. They'll try for the TP. Have they got anywhere to stop it? They don't. So Celery will live, but that's Quinn out for a full minute. It's no hesitation. The second they put the ward down, it's an instant jump. They got dropped, what? It was like 10% HP just from the combo from Nisha. They're out on the map. They got oh. the scan. Oh, puts oh. him on the cliff. Indeed. okay. He's going to get dragged <laughs> back down, though, Boxy. Able to make sure the 33 doesn't get stuck in any awkward spots there on the cliff. Nick is taking the base. Ice has got to put the stampede. They've got to try and get out of this because Quinn, he's been caught by the initial combo. Tofu does have the, the, the potential of the song if required to get Quinn Mickey, out of this. He's caught by the stun. I mean, the snowball's going to catch on to him. The song comes out. And it's going to be enough to allow time for Quinn to get away from this. Yeah, he's out with the Blink Tofu coming in clutch with the safe, but indeed at the same time in the base. What happened, Fog? I mean, it took the, he took the racks. I mean, he got caught because of the Invis DK sneaking around, but he, he got the objective. So I think that DK form goes down. And we'll see how strong they feel with the last seconds or so of this Aegis. Duraccio. He's going to try and start try. the action and try and see if they can take down 33 quickly. 33 dragged out to the side. Disruption comes out. 
We're gonna be able to keep 30 trees first life alive a little bit longer as 30 trees able to back away. In fact, Boxy. now he's ready to aggressively move it. He pops the bloodstone. He heals incredibly up. A celery has been burst down. Has to buy back here on the enchantress. And Boxy's still alive. And they've still got 26 or 30 trees ages. They get another stone connection on towards 33. Can they even finish him off the once? The snowball comes in for Boxy. Quinn. Punch him as well. The song comes in for Tofu. Tries to get gaming gladiators back to a safe spot. Quinn's able to jump away here. Tofu bailing the team out. Drinking the buddies. It's <laughs> about to get taken away from him. So 33. <laughs> They'll get tossed back to safety, Liquid, they'll pull back with the Aegis expiring. How is Boxy living all these moves? He kept himself at, what, 10% HP, it felt like for 30 seconds. That was a lot used there from Gaiman. 10 Jack seconds, till so DK form, 33. With the opening. They don't quite have the damage though, and again, the disruption saved there from Insania. Ace is caught on the front, they're bursting through the Centaur incredibly quickly. Ace is gone, and he doesn't have buyback. The saves every single time. One final Rax remaining. Ace down. Once more, Liquid. But this sort of lead, maybe not too much of a reason to take too many risks, so... I think they'll wait for that, Roche. I think so, too. Gracchio, right, trying to do some sneaky plays here, ah, but he's got eyes on him. He's, he's gonna get the jump, 33 coming in with the damage. Back up is there for Duraccio. Duraccio's able to bail up to the high ground. Gaming Gladiators do split Liquid relatively apart. They fully commit up towards Insania, but he's able to get the self-disruption off. Nisha, eyes over towards Tofu. They've been able to burst through the two supports. This is the sort of fight the Gaming Gladiators needed in terms of the start of it. Can they get the cause? They'll look Nisha. towards Nisha. Nisha with the BKB TP out. They've got he nothing lives. to stop it. He'll get away, but the song's up to put a stop to the escape of Mikke. As Gaming Gladiators surround the nature's profit. There's no save left for Mikke as Gladiators hit back. Duracho with the sneaky play, just playing around. He looks like he's... I mean, 20 seconds, make it. Liquid still got to make the smoke out. They don't have the same information, so they've got to at least get something. They've got to poke their face there to see. AC was finished for Nisha. I may have the net worth lead, but Gaming Gladiator certainly have the position advantage here. Duracho. He's going to find 33 to start things off. He's going to try and open the play. They'll be the Avalanche. They trips up Quinn straight away. Quinn, you've got to be careful. Burst down about a third of the HP. Backup comes in from AC straight over towards Insania. The coil's there. Quinn, he's been able to isolate the two supports on the back. Quinn, the Duracho, he's breathing the damage. They're taking down Insania. Boxy getting low. He'll get another snowball off, though, Boxy. They've finished off Tofu. Buyback comes in from Quinn. Snowball over towards Celery, but Boxy had to blink out. Still alive somehow on this task. 33 pops the BKB. Tries Duraccio. But Mickey's actually blocked 33 off it inadvertently there with the Sprout. Goes for Duraccio, but Duraccio's able to get over this sort of area of the map that Liquid, they can't traverse quite as easily. He's, in He's trouble. breaking away from them, but they've got the chase down. They've got another set of catch with the Sprout and Mickey bringing in the damage. Liquid, they push for Quinn. the fight. They get the combo onto Quinn. He's run out of orbs to jump to. He's got it back up in a second. But the crit comes in there hard from Nisha. Quinn, it's a die back on him. Liquid, they push for the fight. They take it and they're strong right into the Roche pit. That fight, and now Mega's been claimed. Liquid, they have 45 seconds. Yeah, they're pushing on. The fortification comes out. 40 seconds in which Gaming Gladiators is going to have to try and defend without Quinn. Ace looking for the lead, but he gets caught immediately by the Avalanche. Bounces away with the Ogre Seal turn. The Stampede's there to get back, but the Tier 4s are falling. Liquid, they're onto the, the edge. Gaming down. Gladiators have got anything to stop this. They do not. GG's going to be called. Liquid, take game two. It is a Quinn specialty. It is a hero that can buy time, that can open up the game. But Brambles come out bottom, doesn't catch the Rachel, but Celery put low. A second Soul Assumption. That's a lot of damage. Like hit from ready. the Shadow Realm and the Soul Assumption. It's set up. First blood for 33. As I say, you've got to keep an eye on how much money this lad's going to be able to make from this lane. Getting a f The CS looks pretty bad on the cores, but at the least they do have a couple extra on those supports that almost not fully even things out, but kind of do. Trying to make the jump here. It's a good amount of burst thrown down over the wards. Dark Willow, but Boxy is able to fight back with the Shadow Realm. He's going to try and do so, but an Optus Pose comes in. Boxy's going to go down. I mean, Gladiators sort of baiting him in, 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 into trying to take that fight back towards them. They'll come. Yes, indeed. A little bit of a catch up from Nisha. I mean, his puck play has been pretty phenomenal. I believe he had to lose a game here. He's really been pushing the limits on some of these. On top lane. Heroes is Mickey. Talking about pushing the limits here. Mickey's going to get run down. Ace and Tofu chasing him off into the trees. And Insania not quite in position or having the tools to hold them back this time. I like that. That's like the kind of the result of what happened when Tofu was just clicking and poking Insania on the side there. They can't look to play for the power rune. It's the biggest power tends to be there for the Pango. Is playing around that power rune early on with the rolling thunder just kind of chain CCing somebody. Heavy rotations coming in. The coil catches though. It's going to come out Quinn. immediately. The silence follow up as well as the TP and they've got the burst. Down. To take Quinn out before he gets the chance for shield crash. Tofu will be at least able to take away that rune. So Nisha. Very rough opening few minutes to this third game. 
He is isolated though. We are seeing the Marcy making the moves around. Celery looking to get involved elsewhere. Insania. It's gonna be off the mark there with the rebound. Catching. Look at the pit. I mean, Insania's gonna kind of bring them back over towards him there with that. A little bit of unfortunate cogs. The arrow angle from Tofu, it's perfect. Comes in, Starstorm also just for the limits of the range. It's enough damage to catch Insania Ooh. out. And look at this move, the old school Duracho move. Quick movement, Mike might I, not expect this. I don't think he expects this whatsoever. See if Duracho has got enough setup to buy time for the rest of the team to move over. Tofu's trying to head in. He's got the arrow back up in a second, leaps in for the burst damage. Mike, he's got no one to help out. Gaming Gladiators, the Sprout comes out from Mike. it won't save him. Aggressive moves here that are really helping them. To have, they will have the six on 33. So bottom tower, they do have to have someone here to occupy. Duracho has to be careful. He's gonna get caught in the bramble. The media TP is coming in to try and help it out. They've got the fiends gate as well, bringing in the numbers, gaming gladiators. And 33 is gonna go straight away. At least try to for the twins gate, but the pit's there. Into the roll from Quinn. They're gonna be able to catch 33 on his attempt Whoa. in this game. He's bumped down to the low ground. They're still able to reach him with the damage of the firestorm to take him out. Playing around this Underlord, this map top. mobility, it's fast. They know that McKay's around here somewhere, Quinn. Ooh. See if he's going to be able to bully Mickey. Mickey into the trees, pops up the nature's wrath, the rebounds in. Mickey, he's got no teleportation, no TP scroll, they're both on cooldown. He'll sprout himself in, but they'll still be able to reach over, take him out again. The moves continue from Gaming Gladiators in the mid. The jump's made, Nisha's able to burst through Tofu. Did have to use the Dream Coil for that in return. Because of how good of a start that Celery's had, even no, though it's absolutely. a five position, throw a solar flare on there, Mick, it could definitely be in trouble. Yeah, Tofu on, on top of that, you know, both yep. of the supports on Gaming Gladiators having, you know, maybe not to plan, but that stronger start because of Quinn. the stronger the cause out in the mid, the burst comes through, Quinn, not a chance to get out of this one, but maybe a chance for Gaming Gladiators' as a team to find something in return as the numbers turn up, they get the pick control on Tanisha, but no further burst as Liquid turn up the full five man here to put some pressure in on the mid lane. They get that initial catch, the coil. It's the one thing that Quinn has to watch out for this game. They has to be careful every single time the Nisha does step up. Duracho can't go for that one. Duracho now could be in careful, could be in trouble himself. And he's got the hook shot. They're ready to get him with the catch. They drop down the comp. They managed to trap Duracho. He's gone. Quinn jumps in with the rolling thunder, looking for kills in return here. Got the opening bounce onto Insania. Ace comes over with the Fiends Liquid's gate. Got the numbers. He'll get caught in the back lines by me. McKay TPing over the fear. Catching on to both in the 33, bringing in the familiar, having the chain stun to control gaming gladiators. Take down Celery and now turn the damage towards Ace as Liquid. They take out four. Big Mistake from Duracho, trying to get involved early on. He's still so fragile. There's so much magic damage and control. Nishi They're not afraid to start running at them with the lead that they have. Even with this moment where Nishi hasn't quite got the Blink Dagger pickup. He's very close to the money for it, but was just looking to see if they could try their chances here with the Dream Coil and the Amplified Damage Rune in the bottle. Bottom Tofu. lane, Tofu get tries to TP out, but the Terrorize it's there from Boxy. They quit, they'll get another pick off. And now Mika, he's got the Gleipnir, so he can get involved a lot easier than Duracho in particular. He's got a 2005 hold give. And the whole team in for this one. Liquid, they themselves, they're also ready to return fire. Teleports at the ready for Mick Egg if he sees a chance to fight. He's also got the Wrath of Nature back off cooldown. A Quinn, he'll start the action though. Looks over towards the back lines, finds the connection onto 33. This is deep, way too deep here Hook for shot. Quinn. I mean, fortunately for Gaming Gladiators, Insania's going to whiff that one, doesn't get the connection. Gives Gaming Gladiators the chance to back up underneath the tier two. Liquid, they may just be ready to dive it though. The cops are gonna get laid down, push back Quinn. Turn around with the shackle, but he's just in with the silence over towards Tofu. Tofu backs off, Solar Sector Burst Quinn. coming in. They've got the catch with Boxy the fall up beautifully there, onto the three of them. The fear pushes back Quinn. They take down the Pango. They turn towards Duracho. The solar assumption burst, bringing him low. Celery comes up with the rebound to try and get Duracho out of this one. Celery tries to stand he his ground and fight back, but he will fall. Ace to go down as well under the tier two. They cannot defend. Liquid is just smashing them. Nisha gets a three man coil onto the most crucial target. The Pango gets controlled completely. Quinn, it feels like an almost like a super amp. Ambitious move for him to dive forward there with that roll oh, of thunder. Look they just disengage. He's gonna TP beyond the tower. He's oh in with a bomb. They get the red show as well. Liquid is doing it. Volume them at all with Liquid getting so much. Now, Liquid, they look don't want to give them any of that. Nisha going for the solo play. He's uh, he got the MP. They've got so much magical damage here on Nisha alone that Quinn, he's gone. Mickey, he turns up, comes and borrows the kill. We'll be okay for now, but oh, 33. 33. still chasing here. He's still here. looking, and, and he's, he's gonna find him. him. Tofu, no escape from this. Leap still on cooldown for a few seconds. 33 is gonna be able to claim more money here, taking out another. It's desperation from gaming at this point.
They're ready they to keep the aggression going. Coming in with the smoke. Duracho showing himself on the wave. The Wisdom Rune and that Tormentor. Nisha. Gonna try and lead him with a Dream Call. Duracho's pretty deep under the tier two. TP backup starting to come in. Liquid, they'll dive Quinn. in with the burst. The soul assumption. Duracho's so low. Quinn, he'll roll in position to get the Rolling Thunder to try and escape. Liquid, they'll get turned upon it by the Rolling Thunder. Good to take on towards Mickey, but indeed Mickey's still got half HP to play with. The Terrorize comes out over to the side, catching on a Celery and onto Quinn. Celery, he jump out over towards Ace. He'll escape, but Quinn, he gets left behind. The Gleipnir comes out, stuck in position. Quinn's out of the game. They're two ahead, Owen. The, the auras that they've got on 33, this block plus this pipe. Falls. Nice. Also ready to try and come in with a deep push. Liquid, they'll respect it. They'll back off wave, at least for the next wave. We'll see if they stick around or want to back off for further objectives. Roshan would be available. Duracho's gone all aggressive. They're feeling desperate. He's got the Gleipnir done. Can they get any pickup? Anisha's Anisha's already in. in. He's gonna jump the back lines. He gets the side on the three man dream core comes through as well. Liquid, they'll push forward. They're happy to try and take this fight. And they look straight over towards Duracho. Hooks on it from Insane. Rolling Thunder comes out for Quinn. They get the connection onto 33. 33 is incredibly Pretty good damage. Low. They'll get him. They'll take him out with the power shot. Boxy's still pushing in, is able to get the damage over towards Celery with the ultimate. Quinn, the Rolling Thunder comes to an end, but Gaming Gladiators know they have to push on forward for this fight. They catch Boxy. Best fight they've had all game here. They push them back, they get three. Can they catch Nisha? Doesn't look like it. They almost actually got Mika as well. Final few seconds here at the smoke for Gaming Gladiators. They've been hit by the scan. Liquid, they've got good information on whereabouts Gaming Gladiators are. They know that Gladiators are outside of the base and looking to make a play. Insania is ready to start charging towards them. They get the setup, but there's only onto the one of them. They look towards Toe for Quinn. He's able to get the freedom to get the trip by Rolling Thunder off. The auras are out for Liquid. He's keeping Insania pretty tanky as Tofu. He'll get left behind. As you know, the leaps are there. He's actually able to jump away just in time. Boxy. The burst comes out over one box. The power shot for Durancho. Gaming Gladiators, the first to claim a kill out of this team fight. Ace, he'll get trapped back by the Cogs. The rest of Gaming Gladiators, they'll want to look to try and turn and help him out. Ace getting pulled over the harassment on the Familiars. Jump forward from Quinn. He's in with the burst. Look at it was insane here. Ace still alive. Right, Nisha. Finally falls. Double kill for Mickey. Nisha, they he'll jump out with the orb. 33 is able to stay in on top of Celery. Nuke down. The Marcy here with the Soul Assumption is liquid. They'll still take the fight despite Gaming Gladiators' willingness to try and tackle them. And now, immediately on with a push, Liquid that up to the top set of racks. Mickey and 33 able to claim those. And Quinn's found 33, but outside of the base, in trouble. Quinn, can he get away from the rest of them? Duracho doing his best to help out as he holds Insania back with the shackle shot. Mickey TPing in. Quinn, can he escape this? He's got Shield Crash up in a second. The blink's there. Down to the low ground. Duracho caught back in by the Sprout, he turns, gets the Shackle Shot connection, whirlwind out onto the two of them, but now he's started back away, Insania has the Cog he's connection, caught. he's trapped in the Cog, Duracho, he's gone, Tofu, he's got one more leap still to play with if Liquid can stay on top Quinn. of him, Quinn, he's still teasing around with him, I mean, if anything, just trying to keep Liquid's attention away from the base, away from the high ground. This fight's lasted 90 seconds or something like that. And they do catch the arrow, but do they have any follow-up? Looks I mean, dangerous, Quinn's, Quinn's considering it. He's tempted to try and look for these crazy plays. He knows there's the Fiends Gate backup as Ace is ready to join with them. Then buyback comes out from Insania. Game of Gladiators, they're gonna put every in this fight. Liquid's ready to try and return fire. The Cogs are down, Quinn. His roll is about to come to an end. He's got a few more bounces left in. Turns towards Boxy with a swatch with the Shadow Realms back up. Boxy's fine, fine. Quinn's still ball. alive. Quinn jumps out with the Shield Crush. He's walking away from this one alive. That's Quinn. For sure, top racks are gone. Progress made by Liquid. But without a doubt, Gaming Gladius is all tofu. Dodging the hook shot. Mickey wants to commit to this kill, but there's back aggressive. up to Tofu. He's going to try and get the kill here. Pops the BKP, but Mickey's surrounded. He's not even going to get Tofu. Tofu gets away. Mickey, what's the age is gone? It's him versus the world. The backup's starting to move in. Gaming Gladiators, they want to try and tackle Mickey a second time. Sell him with the unleashed. Gets the dispose backwards. Nisha jumps over the burst, but he can't save Mickey. Mickey gets taken out. What and a beautiful then Quinn, catch. Rolling Thunder's back up. He's ready for the chase down. They look for Insania. Can he get the opening connection? He can. Insania trapped against the cliff. He'll try and jet back away. The cogs are down, but Quinn's ready to dodge on through the cogs. Stay on top of him. Boots in with a swashbuckle. He's still living on a slither of health here, Insania. But Quinn, he's going to blink back up. Jumps in with another shield crash. Quinn continues to toy with Liquid. He's coming in so clutch. These catches, it's beautiful. Mickey, not in about 30 seconds at least till clock's up. They're trying to find another opportunity. Rolling Thunder in 10. Hey, Quinn, he is really getting some momentum right now. Oh, he put this TP in. Mickey. Okay. BKB up in oh, one second. Oh no, Mickey. BKB's back up, but they're completely on top of him. Liquid, can they bail them out of this time? Round coil on four. Look at the coil under the four. The McQuinn was all able to get the roll up. 
Quinn, can he get the angle to go back in the field? We'll push back the rest of Quinn's teammates here. The Gaming Gladiators have got the Aura's Pod. Tace is ready to push on. They're ready to try and find some action from this one as the Fire Storm Pit drops down on the 33. Quinn comes in with a shield crack. They've separated 33 for the rest of the team. It's Eddie comes in with his drill. Oh, on the side. And they've got Derecho. Can they get more? Quinn, this time round, he's run out of options. They'll get him this time. Ace goes for the TPI. He'll make it away. Celery as well. But Liquid, they won't let Gaming Gladiators get away with that one. They felt. And they just don't really have great control to hold this puck down by any means. Ace. They're going to try and get the jump on him outside of the base. Nisha starting to tease around. Got Oops. the dream, got a hook shot. Not going to quite get the connection in. Now the backup comes in. Quinn in with the rolling thunder by Ace. Ace He's out of the game. We'll see if he considers the buyback. He has got it available. Quinn turning over towards Insanian out of the side. Ace holding back on the buyback for now. So food. Quick peek off to the side. Nisha is back oh in with a three mount wave with the solo. Duraccio has been caught in the sprout. He's gone. They get Duraccio. They get Quinn. The buyback they have to come out now. It's Liquid are onto the tier fours. Three buybacks. I'll push Liquid back for now. Nisha 3 is taking literally no damage, it feels like. Oh, they get the jump in. Celery trying to open up with the Unleashed. Nisha's in with the two mouth side. Let's push back. There's Coil the jump as well. The Coil is on to the three of them. Quinn caught in the Sprout. will be able to break out. Nisha. Can he be enough pretty hard by the Unleashed? Boxy's just been toying around with a terrorized threat. 33. Again, so tanky. He's They'll so toss tanky. back in with the Dispose. But again, they're fully focusing in with the terrorized. It's out onto the four of them. Boxy gets the setup. Celery's out. Another buyback has to come into play. Nisha, four man waiting rift. The four man scout comes up. The curse grab. Boxy toying with the ball. They'll still manage to scramble their way back to the fountain, though, Gaming Gladiators. But this time, Ace, he's out for 70. Slide four from Celery. They get the stun opening onto Ascendia 33, but they don't have to follow up damage to get the kills. The buildings are being focused. Liquid, we're going to claim the Mega Creep. Rolling for Quinn. We get the angle to 33. Nisha, he's going to be able to kill them outside of the fountain. They're running out of buybacks, Gaming Gladiators. Liquid, they'll get the final ranks. He'll fall though, he'll immediately buy back as the Mega Creeps are out. Liquid, they want to keep this push going. I mean, Gladiators, it's just three against the world now. The tier four is going down. Liquid, have they done it here? The coil under the two of them as Liquid are getting the space to focus down the ancient jump four to one Nisha, but the auras are out. Durant down goes the right two. Liquid, Liquid are doing it. To the ancient Liquid are absolutely doing it. GG is cold. in best of five that they could not bring it to gaming gladiators but when it mattered at ti this time around they've done it in a spectacular fashion 3-0 with nature's profit first pick every single game absolutely the, the play from liquid and the style that they do it in it was phenomenal nisha on his puck at level 118 we saw him got, he got so far that first game only those first 10 minutes of that first game looked problematic these two in particular, they just ran the show. The entire team just looking absolutely amazing. Nisha claiming that title at 33. He started and again. claimed it for the second time. A different team, a different style, a different matchup at 33. Still having what it takes, especially when it comes to him getting his hands on the Visage. A completely unstoppable and gaming gladiators. So many times they managed to take the championship titles in the events as, as big as this one, but this time round they couldn't quite do it. Liquid 3 0 against Gaming Gladiators here. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your international 2024 champions, Team Liquid.